welcome to the tutorial on air meet so i'll first log into the website air meet you type on google you can go to the website link so it's www.airmeet.com so this is the welcome screen of the air meet and uh, this can be used for hosting virtual conference and other meetups so we will see how to set up an conference a virtual conference for that first you need to log in to this website you can either click at the host a free event or you can go to the login directly so you have to enter the details there so i'm clicking on the login I can log in by any of the way through Google, Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. So I'm going to log in by the Google account. You can see my Google Gmail ID. So I directly got into the website. Then on the right top of the screen you can go to my profile you can see uh, the profile created i'm clicking on the air meet you can now go to the host a free event option here you have to give your name of your organization you can type the college name here proceed then the other important details you can give here this is an university or educational institute uh, here I'm going to do a conference. You can opt for uh, conference, webinars, community meetups, fairs and expos, networking events, and also some workshops or trainings. So I'm going to show you regarding how to host a conference. How often? I'm taking only just once. Next. So I can give the event name here. Sorry. Now I can give the event date and time. So I'm giving some uh, date on December 16, 2020. Giving for 9 a.m. starting. I'm going to create the event. So my event is created. We can see here on December 16, 9 a.m. I scheduled a event called International Conference. Then you can go to the profile. After my profile, you can see the dashboard. So this dashboard is used for entering the inputs related to the international conference go to the dashboard here you can click on view details option here on the left side you can see various tabs like basic info 
sessions. So if you have multiple sessions for a conference, you can add sessions one by one and all the sessions will be a part of this single conference event. After that, you can add the speaker and host. Then there are some more options like booth, sponsors, access rules, videos, live stream, registrants and recordings which I will be which will tell one by one. So I will just show how to edit the event details. Click on this one. I name this as International Conference. You can give the description about the conference here. After that, you can make this visibility either in private mode or in public mode. So in the case of private mode, the people can access only through the AirMeet link which is given by you. That means it is a one-to-one -one communication on the AirMeet link. If you make it public, this may be available on the AirMeet website and anyone who sees the same can log into this meeting. Then there is an option called allow guest authentication. So that this will be able to join the AirMeet without requiring a login. So you can uh, it is preferred not to switch on this uh, authentication otherwise you need to give access to individual. Time zone is fine and here you can see uh, or you can give the time when the AirMeet starts and when the AirMeet ends. So I am just scheduling this for a single day conference. December 16, 9 am starting same day. I am scheduling uh, to 5 pm closing time. There is an option called uh, enable social launch which uh, will provide you some virtual tables for some advanced functions in the conference setting. For time being, uh, okay, I will show how to do the same using uh, social launch. Number of virtual tables uh, required. So you can add the required number of virtual tables to accommodate the rigid participants. Then you can click on the update air meet. Then, uh, so this is the details regarding the conference event. You can go to the next tab, sessions. In session, by default, we created one session called welcome session. It is uh, scheduled on December 16, 2020 from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. That means 30 minute duration and host name you can see uh, through which you log in the account and speakers you can add so I can go for the edit session so you can give here uh, the two options like host on AirMeet go live directly on AirMeet or you can use the streaming software so by using the streaming software you can stream into the AirMeet from any other platform. So I'm using directly I'm going to uh, go live from the AirMeet. So you can give the session name here, session uh, date and time uh, time here. So if I am going for a one hour meeting for the welcome session, duration you can give here 60 minutes. Uh, so you can edit accordingly the duration. Then you can give the session summary, like what is there in the welcome session. You can also add the speakers once you assigned the same. So I'm just updating the session. Again, uh, again, for adding more sessions, you can use the add session option, which is available on the right hand side of the screen. Again, I will give one more session, add session, uh, same uh, things uh, in session name, I can give some session 1, time, uh, there should not be any overlapping between the time, so I am going to start it from 10, 
for a duration of two hours it is 120 minutes i can give the summary uh, session summary if want if i want and also i can uh, go for the uh, speakers once we add the same so i'm just adding the session so you can see one more session added we can again uh, add one more session i'm just putting a session in the afternoon session two Uh, same thing uh, for two hours I scheduled session one so I can start from maybe one for a two hours uh, so one twenty minutes again add session session 2k again I can go for add session that is a uh, final final session Uh, I can give the uh, time till uh, 4 to 5. Four to 5. Okay, I'm just uh, putting the duration as 120 minutes and give it the add session option. Okay, so all the four sessions are created now i can go for the speaker and host option so by default the login account is the host account again add the speaker again enter the names uh, speaker one we're supposed to give the full email address uh, the speaker's organization, speaker's designation, uh, city, country, and uh, you can map this uh, speaker to a session which is already created. Then you can, if you want, you can give the speaker's bio also. It's all start, so you have to give some uh, inputs. So I'm putting uh, one email ad address. So speaker's organization, I'm putting some A. Designation and putting some B. Uh, I can ask, so you can see here session one, final session, welcome session, uh, anything. So uh, if the speaker belongs to a particular session or he is supposed to give a lecture in a particular session, I can assign to that one. So I'm assigning the first uh, speaker to the session, uh, welcome session. Then I'm trying to put add speaker. So you're supposed to. Uh, and the three characters so i'm putting some a b c b c d again i'm trying for inputting the values yeah it directly gone into so the s1 speaker is created similarly i'm creating uh, four speakers again just put s2 speaker 2 again i'm putting a new email id i'm putting a b c and B, C, D. I'm putting uh, the speaker two for the final session. Add. Yeah. So two speakers were created. So you can add or you can create uh, the required number of speakers and assigned to a particular session in the event called international conference. There are some more options called booth. So uh, this feature is available only in the conference type air meets uh, which is actually a paid version and you have sponsors option only in the paid version access rules allow guest access or other, uh, authorized attendee only so you can uh, explore this and the video you can uh, stream pre-recorded videos for that you have to upload the videos into the air meet. Uh, then also one more option is there for the live stream. You can either the either stream the air meet conference things in the Facebook or even in the YouTube stream. For that, for streaming in the YouTube, uh, you need a YouTube channel. In that YouTube channel, if you go for the go live option, we can see. Let's say click on the add YouTube stream. Uh, I have to enter the 
corresponding session so which section sorry which session has to be uh, streamed in the uh, youtube welcome or uh, session one session two or final session again select accordingly and i can give the so this streaming url is a uh, is obtained by default and streaming key this is the key option which is available in the youtube then again click on add stream then uh, youtube live stream option is selected and then again uh, next option is the registrants so i can see now uh, the host is the speaker one and speaker two are registered in the conference in recordings we can't get the recordings in the unpaid version or in the free version okay then if you go to the basic info you can see the basic uh, things you can upload a promo image here of the conference okay. uh, so once you create all these things you can try the view event page so this is how your event page looks like the image you uploaded will be available here so by default it's a mic then title of the meeting so international conference event by college name will be displayed here start time uh, 9 am uh, so how long it will be the it will be started when it will be started and then if you see the schedule december 16 you have a welcome session session one session two final session and the speakers you assigned s1 and s2 and the host name so schedules you can see speakers you can see here and host name you can see here so once you just close this tab this is how it looks like okay so uh, there is this is the airmeet link available available airmeet link here we can give this link to the participants and uh, the participants can log into this uh, link and they can register and enter into the conference so this is all about uh, the hosting a conference so i'll stop the video now